Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited and nervous to film this video. This is like the third time that I'm restarting. <laughs> Anyways, I have seen this tag go around for a while. I, I think I actually saw it last year and I really wanted to do it last year, but I was in this thing like, oh no, like I can't, I can't do it. I'm not like knowledgeable enough. I just started into this journey and I don't know, I just felt uncomfortable. And this year is, I think I've been into this journey for like two years now, um, fountain pen journey, I mean, and I still feel kind of the same, but I'm a little bit more comfortable talking about my experiences, I guess, and like sharing. Um, so yeah, I thought, hey, let's let's try it out. So thank you so much, Simone and Leanne Likes, for the opportunity to join um, in On The Fun. I will have all the details about this, kind of like a train um, video going on. So I'll have the details, the links, everything you need to know in the description box of this video. Definitely check it out. Um, I will link um, the playlist, um, the people that went before me and after me and all of that. So yeah, definitely check it out. And if you want to also do this video or join in on the fun, it'll be down there as well. So just check it out. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, if you're new here, by the way, I am Charmaine. Um, I love all things stationary. If you scroll through my channel, you will see a lot of stationary things. I love journaling. I love planning. I use a Hobonichi and I love pens. Uh, I also do daily life vlogs. So I share a little bit of, you know, the things that I do on a daily basis, um, trips, fashion, beauty. I'm a mom. So sometimes I share mom things and, you know, kid hauls and just all the things. I try to be, um, what's it called? relatable i guess like i just i just want to show you me so if that's something that you know you think you would be interested in then definitely check out my channel and consider subscribing we have a lot of fun here and yeah so okay anyways i'm pretty excited to answer these questions there's eight questions i have the questions here in front of me i was gonna print it out but i'm like i can just kind of read it on my phone okay so Okay, here we go. I, I also did not prepare any of my answers, so bear with me. Okay, first question is, when and how did your fountain pen journey begin? And I actually got my very first fountain pen December 2021. 20, I bought the Pilot Kakuno, and I tried to use that for about like a few weeks, and I just didn't like it. I think the nib was just too big. I think I got a fine nib. I don't remember and I didn't like the black ink it was too wet so I just kind of like set it aside and forgot about it and I have been like using the Hubonichi and I really wanted you know a pen that would go good with the Tomoroi River paper and I was really loving the Klena pen but I keep seeing fountain pens everywhere and I'm like okay there's gotta be one that I like that is fine and all of that so I did a little bit of a research and come around April, no, I want to say end of March is when I placed my order and then my fountain pen came in April 1st of 2022. It was the Caveco Sport in the color Mocha and I got it in an extra fine nib and I just loved it. It was so good. I got the brown ink for it as well, like the cartridges and that's kind of how that started um i just really wanted a fountain pen since i kept seeing it and i wanted to use it in my hobonichi and i i was just getting sick of using gel pens you know so yeah that's kind of how that is and that's my first actual fountain pen that i enjoyed i will go ahead and insert a clip because i still have that pen and i i haven't used it in like i want to say a year or so but it's one of those pens that, like I want to keep forever because it is my very first fountain pen, you know, something that I actually enjoyed and it made me fall in love with fountain pens. So I think I will forever have this pen. Um, but that's that. Okay, second question is favorite inks in the beginning. 
Okay, so I started off with wanting brown inks because I, you know, gel pens, I just, I was using that and everything was black and then I got the brown Kalina pen and I just love it. I love how the brown ink just matches with everything. So I already knew coming into this that I wanted to try brown inks and that's kind of like... How that started um my very first well one of my very first fond pen inks i want to say is a sailor ink studio 373 and then i got the 273 and then i got the pilot orochizuku inaho so that was kind of like the vibe back then i really love the brown inks with that green olivey color too like the earthy tones i really really liked and I still love them. I still really do. I haven't used Inaho though. I kind of strayed away from greens after about a year. Um, so yeah, that's kind of how I started, I guess. My favorite inks in the beginning were browns and greens. And then now it's still kind of the same, especially with the browns. I really love, you know, the muted brown colors. I think my favorite right now is Vinta Isabella that has a shimmer in it but even without the shimmer I think it's really really beautiful I still also really like the Sailor Ink Studio 373 but I came to like 273 more now um, it's just a little bit lighter and I just think it's so pretty um, I also really love Scribo Rosa Antico and these are like recent inks that I got this year and I just really love them. I still really like Oyster Hour by Ferris Wheel Press. I think that's definitely something I will always go back to. Same with Steeped Umber. That's like a really kind of like burgundy-ish color. It's so pretty. So those are kind of like my go-to inks. I love brown inks. Um, I really tried to, what's it called? Oh, I guess before I finish that sentence the third question is how have your ink and pen taste changed over time so talking about inks still I really try to venture into different colors because I just you know I watch a lot of videos on YouTube and I felt like I needed to have more of a variety and that's kind of what I did in the first like first going into two years like I don't know the past year I kind of learned like okay I don't like those inks like the first year it was like very experimental and I really thought you have to try all of the things all of the colors and I quickly learned no I really just enjoy muted colors especially browns I have started really liking blues and grays, but muted. Keep that in mind. I like the muted lighter inks, but still has a good flow. So yeah, if you guys watch my currently inked videos, you will see the kinds that I like. And also I love shimmery inks. I really, really do. I love shimmery inks. I learned that and even though I can't use them all the time, I still really, really love them. And I use them in my Twisby um, Diamond 580. I That pen is just amazing for shimmery inks. I also try to use it with like dip pens and stuff like that. Shimmery inks is just so pretty. I love it. So yeah, I guess my pen taste really hasn't changed Aside from the fact that I know I'm not really big on like neon -y colors, like anything super bright, that's not my type. Um, yeah, I just really love more so of muted um, colors, nothing super saturated because I like my inks, I guess, to match or to easily match whatever I create so like if I'm using some type of sticker I want it to easily be like cohesive with everything I don't know that's just me I like things to match I like things to have just one vibe so I always try to go for like 
it's like having neutrals, you know what I mean? So that's kind of how my taste in inks changed. I feel like it hasn't. I just kind of like figured out what I liked and what I didn't like. Um, with pens though, my goodness, I started out with like a bunch of Cavecos because I really loved my Mocha um, Caveco Sport. And I was like in this thing where I'm like, let me get every single color. It was like a Pokemon, like gotta catch them all. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? Let's just kind of venture and like try something different. I really love my Twisby and I really, really wish that there are other Twisby colors out there that I like, but I haven't seen any. Um, I really love the Diamond 580 model and I have the white, but all the other colors that they have, I think it's just black or something, right? So I have, I don't want that, you know, I just, I just have the white that they have and I love that. I wish there was like a pink or something. I don't know, but I love that one. I tried a Lamy, didn't like it. Um, and now I feel like all of the pens that I gravitate towards are gold nibs I just once I got a taste of that Japanese nib I just can't go back like I love it so 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 much at first I thought my favorite was like a sailor or a pilot but then I got the platinum and I'm like hands down I love my platinum nibs so yeah I, I still have a few of my cup echoes but definitely much prefer a uh, gold nib gold japanese nib i love my extra fine and fine nibs i just love it i, I love a medium fine too but if i have a choice i would definitely do either an, a fine or an extra fine i just that's just that i just love it okay so with nib sizes, I guess that hasn't changed. I've always loved a very fine nib to begin with. I did venture into the, what's it called, the mediums, and I tried like a flex, and it's just not me. I just can't do it. I write very, very small. So I'm definitely <laughs> an extra fine to a fine, medium fines for sailors um, type of girl. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer a gold nib. It's just something about it. I just, I just love it. And if I'm going to spend the money, I would spend it more so on a gold nib rather than a steel nib. That's, that's just me though. I know some people don't even care about gold nibs and steel nibs, but for me, I'm like, I just prefer, I just love it. I just love it. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Next, are there inks and pens that you have yet to try um, but would like to? So for inks, I really want to try Birmingham inks. I, I have my cart. It's full. But I'm like, do I really want to buy full-size bottles? I really wish that they have samples because I don't know if I'm going to like it or if it's going to be so similar to some of what I have because you guys know I have a lot of inks like I do I, I went into this thing where I'm like I'm gonna just buy bottles because it looks pretty but realistically I should have just bought samples which is funny because I also bought a bunch of samples I don't know I just have a lot okay I have a lot of inks so I'm very hesitant on buying Birmingham inks because they're just it's like you have to buy the bottle and it's like what if I don't like it and it's just I don't know so yeah, but eventually I would like to try those. I also want to try a linen toolbar. I want to try those inks as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. Those are the two brands that I can think of. And then for pens, I really want to try the Aurora pens. They just look so pretty and so luxurious. I know um, Kitchen Crafts, Lao, has a few. And I think Lori as well. I don't remember i or karina has a few i just always see them on instagram and i'm always like oh my gosh it's so pretty but they are pretty pricey and i'm hesitant because i don't know how the nib is like is it like a japanese nib i guess i just never actually looked into it if that makes sense so yeah i definitely need to do my research about aurora pens and also i want to try scribo pens so if any of you 
can tell me is it more of a western um type of nib or is it like a you know just let me know what kind of nib it is kind of yeah i would like to know but those are the things that i, I want to try um what is my holy grail pen well <laughs> i believe it is the pilot decimo in book white which i i got recently this year it took me almost two years to find that pen. I just love it. I, I, I really do. I did get it in a fine nib though. I would love it in an extra fine. So I think I'm just gonna, you know, it's easy to switch out the nibs on the, pi on the Pilot Decimos. And I already have an extra fine nib in gold. So I can just like really switch that out. But really, I love the body of that. And just like, that's really my grail pen. I love a good capless decimo because it's just so easy you just click it and you're good to go you don't have to worry about caps capping it and all of that i really love the pilot decimo um but then <clears throat> my favorite pen really is a platinum and since getting more platinums lately i feel like those like one of those is my grail pen like the hatsuyuki if I can just have one, I would go with that. It's just so beautiful. So it's my grail pen to me is the one that I love that is that reflects me, I think. And that was hard to get for me. And Hatsuyuki wasn't hard to get for me. So I would still say that that pilot decimo that I recently acquired earlier this year is my grail pen. I don't know if, if there is an actual pen right now that I, I can't get. Maybe the other version of that. <laughs> um, oh, there is another decimal that I really, really like and that I can't find right now. It is the 2017 Cherry Blossom, I believe. I have the 2019 Metallic Pink, but I don't have the 2017 Cherry Blossom. It's like a lighter pink. I'll insert a photo here. I have it saved on my Instagram, but... Those older pink pens from Pilot is just stunning. So yeah, those are like my grail pens, like things you can't get, I guess. But one is like I already have, but I would like the other version of that, like where the pink is flipped. I don't know if I'm making sense, but yeah, that that to me is my grail pen, like something that I just love and like it's so hard to find for a good price too. So there you go. I hope I answered that well. <laughs> okay. How many pens do you currently own? Oh my gosh. I did not. I'm not prepared for this. I don't. I don't know. I know that. I want to say under 40. I will put my, my accurate, like what I really have right here. But I want to say it's under 40. Because earlier this year, I sold a lot. If you guys recall, I sold like 13 pens. But yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I think I think I'm under 40. I think. <laughs> okay. Do you have a limit on pens or inks in your collection? Is it a number? Is it a feeling? When do you know that you have reached your maximum? There's no limit. I, I feel like definitely not a number. I think it's more more so like a feeling, I guess. I don't know. I, I, the limit does not exist. <laughs> um, there's I feel like there's always going to be a pen that, that will come out that I will want in my collection. And when that happens... Oh, see, the next question is, consequently, what would you do if another pen and ink come along? So I'm going to answer seven and eight kind of together. I don't think there's a limit. It just like with buying anything else in my life, if I like it and I have the money and I am able to get it, you know, financially and accessibly, I will get it and it will be in my collection if I love it um so I guess it is more so a feeling and if like I said if there's 
a pen that comes along or an ink I, and I want it, I will just, I'm going to buy it. That's just how it is. I, you know, just like with anything that comes into your life or there's just like, you know, if you see a shirt, like, oh, I, I have 20 shirts already in my closet. But if I see a shirt that I absolutely love, I'm going to buy it. And that's kind of how I am with my pens. I know some of them are pretty pricey, but like I said, you know, if I am able to purchase it, like if if I have the funds and it's accessible to me, like, um, you know, it's I can easily order it, then I'm going to buy it. Um, yeah. I really don't think there's a limit for a collection. I If you're really passionate about something, I, I think it's just, you, you just kind of keep going um like I, you know it's there always there's always gonna be a new pen a new ink there's I don't think it's ever gonna stop <laughs> um so yeah that's just kind of my take on that and I don't know what else to talk about I think those are all the questions did I answer them good oh my gosh I don't know I'm so nervous about this video and I'm looking at my camera and it says I've been blabbing for 23 minutes I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions, feel free, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Um, yeah, I'm going to go count how many pens I have. So I, when I edit this video, I will have the answer for you. I'm kind of nervous to know now because I know my storage on my desk is full, except for the row where I keep my Caveco and my... Um, my pro gear mini because i don't have a whole lot of pocket pens anymore um so there's only a few in those but in the other two trays where like you know the full size pens go it's pretty full and then i i know i have a few in like my pen storage and stuff oh, i'm nervous to know now so anyways that is it again all the details about the eight eight pen questions tag will be in the description box down below thank you again so much to steve monet and leanne likes for putting this whole thing together i've been really enjoying watching everyone's videos i i really need to like watch and like comment it's just i haven't had the time to because i usually watch the videos when i'm doing stuff or when i'm working out you know so it's like it just goes one after another and it's like shoot I didn't get to comment on those but I have watched so many um, videos from this pen tag and I really have been enjoying them. So yeah, thanks again to Simone and Leon Likes for putting this entire thing together. I think it's been really, really fun seeing um, and hearing about everyone's journey. Anyways, thanks all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments down below and yeah, until next time. Bye. Thank you.